Okay, this is how you get down this hill. Very carefully. And now I got mud in my shoe. Great. Piece of mud just went flicking in there. That's kind of funny. I'm hoping something pops out at me. It usually does when I'm coming down this hill and I don't have my camera rolling. And I miss it. Some sort of bird or something. Rabbit. You get rabbits around here too. So I trimmed them all high and tight. I'm not sure, but I. I think the uh, fire department likes it better that way. But the reason why I like going up and down this hill is because it has strength and and balance. I mean, if you're running around on a flat surface all the time, you lose your balance. This helps with that. I remember, I don't know, I think I was like 16, uh, and I brought Duke over here and he, uh, he, coming down the hill, he was like not used to it. It's like, oh my gosh, he's only used to flat surfaces. Well, you go up down this hill a few times, you'll notice a change in your balance. Oh, there goes a bumblebee. Wow, I haven't seen one of them in years. Dang. Those things used to be all over the place. Well, I guess it's good to see they're back. I've never been stung by a bumblebee. I've been stung by the little bees, and that's about it. I hear they sting. Do they sting? I don't know. All of these are peaceful. They don't ever come after you or anything. Act all spastic and shit. They're like the mellow, the mellow dudes of the bug world. So what is today's date? Today's date is quarantine day. They say San Diego is uh, under quarantine. So I went out looking around and I don't see any change of any, anything. You know. Yeah, there's that spastic weird shit of people hoarding the grocery store, but that's nothing new. I mean, as far as, you know, it's, it's a different way of them spazzing out, but people are always spazzing out about something. Whether it be about politics or news or whatever, they're always spazzing. So that's nothing new. So yeah, I don't see any change in quarantine day. I didn't see any zombies walking around with blood gushing out their mouth or anything. Everybody looks fine to me. On the bright note though, I'm glad everybody, a lot of people are taking a break from work. You know. A lot of people work way too much. Probably the reason why they spaz out so easy. Working too much. Turn you into an idiot. Knocking down these weeds.
can steal no tag poles, dang it. There's nothing in there. Uh, so nice and cool too. It's been raining all week. What is today's date? I can't even remember. Well, today's Saturday. I think it's the 20th. March 20th, 2020. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I can't remember what it... I know I've been videoing something else. I just... No, I haven't. Actually, I haven't been doing any videos. Wow, Weed Central, look at this. If you like weeds, here you go. Adam's family, this is your video for you. In the Munsters. It's like the perfect weed garden. Oh, there he is. That looks like the fire department. No, it's not. Never mind. Fire department's bigger than that. Oh, it was the first day of spring, I hear. So, I'm going to look forward to more flowers. I'm going to get out and see them. I'm looking to go to the desert. I really should go in the early evening. Because I want to check out the stars. Oh, there we go, there's them guys. You seem to be a little shy of me.
So is the hospital open? I'm sure it is. I don't know, assuming that's still a hospital, I'm not sure. It used to be a mental ward. It used to be a mental ward for kids. Every time one would break out, the helicopter would be coming in and flying over my house and into the canyon all the time. They were constantly doing that all in the late 70s, early 80s. They don't do that now. I guess they move the kids somewhere else where they can break out and get the, give the cops something to do. In fact, there's a helicopter hovering somewhere nearby. Wonder what's going on. I can take 3,227 photos. I think I got 32 gigabytes in this flip camera. I think it took a photo. Now I'm down to 3,209. Hmm. I wonder how that counter's working. Hmm. Well, if nothing else, I need to get a better camera just to get the good color. Because I don't see the color in the screen at all. Not bright like you see in real life. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Wow. It's like the space shuttle or something. Oh, I gotta have a seat.
Well, it doesn't look like a lot of people come down here walking around. It seems strange to me. I think if you lived next to a canyon, you'd be down here walking around all the time. Like me. This, this whole canyon is lined with houses. See that? Oh yeah, see what I mean? That's just... And it's on a hillside too. That thing must have been there since the 50s. That's when this place was built. That's awfully big. Yeah, and everybody's doing all right. I mean, with the steep hillside like that. It's not like La Jolla where they get whole entire houses falling off the cliff. I think it was 1967 when we first moved here. And the big news story back then was houses falling onto Freeway 5 off the hillside of La Jolla. Yeah. Then it happened again recently. I think it was in the 90s, I'm not sure. Maybe it was in the millennium. The house has fallen down off the cliff. Neighborhood falling apart. Over in La Jolla. And those houses aren't cheap either. And you'd think, oh yeah, those people are rich, they can afford it. Well, some of them, yeah, but all your richness could be into the house only. You know what I mean? So. Losing a house like that could put you in the poor house. How did I get through here? Oh wow, that's cool. They got solar. Awesome. Yeah, they got a pool at that house. But I think they took it out. I think it was last year I heard them hammering away over there, taking out the pool. I was like, no! I love pools. I used to have a pool. I lived at a house with a pool. Between 1967 and 1977, I lived at a house with a pool. Although I had to clean it all the time. Towards the end there, I was always cleaning it. Now, I was eyeballing one of those jacuzzi. You can get a portable jacuzzi. I think it's like a blow-up jacuzzi. It doesn't cost like a zillion dollars, you know? But that's cool. Of course, they're always giving away on Craigslist. You can get a choosy for free on Craigslist all the time. The only problem is like transporting it. It's so heavy. How are you going to get it there and here or there or wherever? How do you hook it up? You could learn about it and just do it. And once you got the jacuzzi, are you really going to sit around in a jacuzzi? I mean, a lot of people I know, when they get them, they just like, Yeah, it was great at first, but no, I'm tired of it. Okay, well. I guess that's a wrap now. Maybe I'll just save this and add it on to something else. Okay, one more cut. Just wanted to film the hillside. This 
because they made the bushes different. I'm wondering if I should trim that one. That one's never been trimmed. It's always been there. The neighbors never grow anything on their hill. They're not worried about it. When everything, when anything ever falls down on their house, they just add more bricks and dirt. Very expensive way of doing things in my opinion, but maybe not, maybe they're getting a good deal. A bunch of guys come in and do all that. And instead of paying somebody to do all that, I just throw in plants and mulch. Uh, neighbors aren't worried about it. These guys here did a great job. Look at that. All that succulent. So it's fireproof. Well, except for that pepper tree, of course. Look at that. That's jade right there. I got a ton of jade up there. I would try that, but the jade is has a tendency to knock over the hillside, so... I just keep it down at the bottom. That's all my jade. Jade forest right there. You can harvest that, put it in a cute little pot and sell it to swap meat, you know. Five bucks a pot. Jade makes cute little house plants. And they, they transfer over real easy. They just grow their own roots right where they lay. You break a piece of jade off, throw it on the ground, it'll grow right there. Pearl, did you bring him in yet, huh, Pearl? I heard you yelling. Anybody show up? Huh? <laughs> yeah, where's that hawk? Yeah, bring him in, Pearl. Let the hawk know you're here. Yeah, the tropical birdies know how to do it. <laughs>